Beersy. Mm-hmm. Uh, local, local Croatia. I got a, oh, I really? got the new designs of Garden Brewery. Oh, nice! Which one did you, are you drinking? <laughs> a hazy IPA hop showcase zero five Sabro, juicy New England wow. IPA bursting with tropical flavors in coconut and pineapple. I wanted to try that one, but I haven't. Are you getting that pineapple? Um, no. Mm. <laughs> I'm not getting no coconut, no what pineapple. About the haze. I'm haze getting the haze. There's a. It's very reminiscent of like a milkshake IPA. Have you tried honest. their milkshake IPA? Was it good? I actually had it yesterday. It's, it and? tastes very familiar. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, similar. I like those. They Femular. have this like like the bone. Um, umami kind of vibe. <laughs> it's got those, that umami vibe. <laughs> those milkshake IPAs. They're good. Yeah, they're good. I, only, I only had theirs, but I like to try more. Mm. Milkshake IPAs are like a autumn beer to me for some reason. Hmm. Well, we're out well of that. Ain't, ain't no autumn here around these parts. Mm. Oh, it ain't, ain't no, no autumn, autumn here in these parts. Is this official? Am I peaking? Peaking. peaking. I don't know. I feel like you're the boss, so you choose. Am I peaking? Peking is not uh, is not a place in China. You sound peakless. <gasps> Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm peakless. Of course I am. I'm, I keep my my microphone you, you, fairly neutral. I gotta boost you. No. Yeah, I know. Um, it's just that I'm afraid of peeking on the, you know, on the recording. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You fear the peaks. I'll they be a little bit the louder. The peak. The peaka man. Fira. Pika pika. Pika pika too. Uh, all right. Okay. Peekophobia, <clears throat> I believe you have. All right. That's enough <laughs> nonsense. Hello. Welcome to Twofold Podcast. Johnny, tell us how we do with the song. <laughs> Was a clip of Johnny telling us how we do. And not <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah, we can't right. do that. It's we, that's he has in his clause in his Santa Claus in his contract. He we must not reveal his voice. Otherwise, nah. we would all our earnings we ever made hundred percent have to go to him. I don't know why yeah. we we kind of misread it when we were reading we messed it up with that contract. Yeah. So yeah. Only months later did we read it, and thank yeah. goodness we didn't do it. I never saw that contract, but I believe you guys. Yeah, yeah, no, you signed it. I guess you just. Mm-hmm. I yeah. signed it, but I didn't necessarily see no, it. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no. We just we we gave you <laughs> just the, you showed you just a tiny piece of paper with yeah. your signature. Like you just the anyway, welcome. Part, just the sign. Okay. Yeah. Right. 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 Anyway, welcome to another episode of Twofold Podcast. Yes. Today we're having a wonderful Grecian time. <laughs> it's not a word, Phil. Greek. <laughs> Greek. We're having a wonderful Greek time where we decide, well, I mean, you know how it goes with this this new format that we're doing, we're experimenting with, you know, much like America. It's the great experiment. And for some reason, I'm kind okay, of excited. Yeah, <laughs> the America is the great experiment? What? Are yeah, okay? that's what it's you called. sound so hyper. I don't know. I, I don't know. What, what, you I can don't be know. hyper. Just, it's mine. It's I can fine. be hyper. You know, just gotta just gotta pump everyone up when they're listening, and you know, it's, you know, get, get the this, song right? pumped him. This just the pump <laughs> full of juice pumped him up. <laughs> him like the juices him. were flowing in him. He's like, I'm so jacked. <laughs> so I'm drinking a vitamin C drink. Yeah. Ooh. So I don't get scurvy. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. But uh, oh yes, see, yes, yeah, right. Um, uh, hi. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. What about you guys? I think we lost him. Yeah, no, no, I'm here. I'm, I'm waiting for you to speak. Oh, that's it. That's <laughs> all I wanted to say. <laughs> You're not used to uh, me not like, you know, just to throwing myself in the conversation, being impatient. Yeah. Um, I'm good. I feel like we, I feel for some reason it feels this time like we haven't talked in like years. Like, like know, the last right? episode was like right. three months ago it feels for some like reason. Two, yeah, exactly. Three months ago. <clears throat> was just Craziness. Say yeah, that. sometimes I have that. So, but in that case, like we just don't, I guess we don't have anything new to say. I mean, I, there's one thing that I can say that's new. Um, hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up? Oh, I'm just like looking at uh, looking at those uh, cryptocurrencies a little bit. That's about it. You are looking you, or you buying? Just looking at them. No, I'm just looking at them, buying a little bit. You know, a little bit, a little bit. My great investment of ten euros is now at seventy euros. That's oh, the king of crypto. That's actually <laughs> really good. You know what? Actually, I found out on my app. 
I actually bought 90 kunas worth of Bitcoin like a year ago. Mm -hmm. Do some conversion and, for us so everyone knows. Oh man, let me see. I got to put That's up about like uh, 12 euros or something like that. Okay, so similar, euros. similar investment as Jacob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was like, wait a second. I didn't even think about this for a whole year, you know? Mm -hmm. And I look at my app again and I see, what's this? I actually inadvertently without my knowledge ordered some pizza and some other foods using the bitcoin and i didn't know it happened and it took it from my bitcoin <laughs> what and now i don't have yeah i was looking at like the so transaction history and it's like what happened you used for freaking pizza yeah and it, it could have like it could have raised up to like what was it you said you you yeah, invested 70, 10 euros 80 yeah, yeah. i would bitcoin have had, even I grew, had, yeah i would have had 80 I was ether, anyway. though was yeah, we're doing but, like, but I think Ether's Bitcoin like the hot new thing, isn't it? But I think Bitcoin grew pretty, pretty. Uh, uh, let me see. Let, let me see. I want to buy the, the app right now. Okay. I want to buy that. Mm -hmm. but I can't. Yeah, uh, I know because Revolut doesn't allow me. You have to get some yeah. serious, serious appage. Did you get some serious yeah. appage? No, no, I'm a peasant with Revolut. This is just <laughs> fun. <laughs> I'm not really investing for. Me neither. So a year ago. So so a year ago, one Bitcoin was uh, six thousand. Right now, it's USD. fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah. So six to fifty thousand. <sighs> that's 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 a lot. That's six hundred percent. So six hundred percent of ten. Even in my example of the ether was crazy for that ten years now eighty. I mean, if I had just in this is how all the topics go of poor investors. If I had just invested, <laughs> yeah, 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 obviously two hundred no, euros. <laughs> But Phil is too hyper, so let's make him sad. So twelve times what? How do you how do you do the math? I have eight hundred. Well, I just went on my calculator. When ten plus six hundred percent is sixty, you can do sixty. Plus okay, 600%. okay. But I think okay. it was eighty-eight. Well, if you sold it, at, you know when it was the highest. Well, that's, I think that's it was what. 800%. That's what sucks. I didn't even know I spent it. But I anyway, I wasn't possible, looking. Though, if you had so little, I don't know what just pulled it when you were paying for pizza. Yeah, I guess. It yeah, like the funds, did. you know, combine all the funds. Like, oh, right, so. the funds. That sucked. So That's funny. whatever. Who cares? Um, <laughs> like I'm just looking. I'm looking at ether now. You know, kind of push, put in a little bit of just a little coinage in there, and just you know, mm -hmm. checking uh, it buy out. Buy when it dips. Buy it when it dips. Yeah, I That's always all. buy it when it dips. So do you guys want to hear my uh, stupid stupidity in investing? Do you want to hear? I'm going to sure. publicly Go embar embarrass myself. So listen to this. Go ahead. <laughs> when I was doing that, Mike crazy wild investments in crypto <laughs> two euros two euros, yeah. Three euros. Yeah, yeah i foolishly Insanity. thought one time i was like you know what I'm like what if i just sell like my crypto mm -hmm. and let me do, do the math here let's say i bought let's say for argument's sake 10 euros worth of crypto yeah and then let's say it went up to 30 right mm -hmm. my thinking was i'll just sell now right and get 30 mm -hmm. and then buy again <laughs> buy crypto again with that money but no that that's you could do that as long as you buy one of dips but that's the thing i didn't buy it on dips i bought it you idiot after <laughs> oh no later. no that's not <laughs> you just did nothing no, basically and then, to this, and then i was thinking to myself you lost sense. Money. So it's like a reinvesting the money and then i <laughs> later realized that i was exactly losing money and it's stupid <laughs> you just wait if you have that you don't sell it and then buy it immediately because you're basically yeah. they took they took fees and they you know blah 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 so i lost money foolishly so that was my story magical wow. yeah yeah I lost like so a that's whole kind of 10 cents or something Whew. yeah you know, that's what it is crazy. but i'm I, you know i'm kind of slowly like just putting a little bit of money in a couple of cryptos that i think might do something but that's about yeah it. i was thinking it's my idea kind of was that maybe like if you just throw in i don't know like 50 euros a month or something or 25 just for fun and you'll kind of forget about it right in every month you'll you'll have more in the account right and then you just stonks wait. yeah yeah so, it could be cool essentially the advice for if you're i mean we're not crypto men we have you know feeble <laughs> little pockets full of full of crypto so do not take our advice but the general advice of, of wise financial men is it's essentially gambling and say goodbye to that money <laughs> do, do you do not invest your savings or your yeah. money that you actually need for your life this is if you have a little extra cash put it in some you know put it in some crypto put it in some gme you know just have some fun but don't expect it to come back you might mess up
<laughs> yeah, yeah for sure yeah this is this is not your this is don't don't make this as a plan because no one can foresee these things you know no. don't make this as your plan your financial nope. plan don't no no anyway anyway buy speaking gold. of let's 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 <laughs> buy gold I exactly bought, i gold. bought gold on revolut <laughs> one, <laughs> you did for one by the way also and 30 cents uh, and it revolut, went down. no no revolut, i was gonna segue I it was gonna recommend great. before wait wait stop we talked about revolut it, really if you're really investing don't use revolut because essentially you don't own those cryptocurrencies revolut owns them Oh no! Really? You can't transfer. You can't transfer them or anything like that. We yeah, only cash that. out on Revolut. So that's why, if you want to do, if you have some extra ser- serious cash use and you want to gamble it away, use a real crypto where you can actually take those cryptos and put in your crypto wallet. Because this essentially, is not a wallet, that's right. right. This is just no, 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 no. This is just yeah, I know. fun. Yeah, I know. Okay, so anyway, speaking of gold, we watched a movie that included a rare magical item called the Golden Fleece, and it's called. Jason and the Argonauts. So anyway, this movie, I wanted to know, what do you guys know about this kind of era of visual effects films such as this uh, during the 1950s and 1960s that became the swords and sandals era of films, usually coming out with uh, the Italians making a lot of these like ancient Greek (laughs) Roman films. Uh-huh. Um, but in this case, why I chose Jason and the Argonauts was because of the wonderful talent of Ray Harryhausen, who was the co-producer and the one-man army visual effects master who got the uh, these creatures going in this movie. Isn't this your theme, Philip? Yes, it is. It's the Ray Harryhausen <laughs> one. <laughs> yep. It's great. I love it. Go say okay. So let me let me hear your opinion. I mean, me and Jake, we share the same kind of thing because we used to watch these as a kid. If I'm not mistaken, Jacob, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Unless Jake was guys. No, we watched we watched some stuff. I remember. Oh yeah, we era. watched. Yeah, we watched Jason and the Argonauts. We watched the Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, the Golden Voyage of Sinbad, Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger, the Lovely Voyage of Sinbad, uh, the Magnificent the, Voyage, the romantic of voyage of Sinbad, the Not So Lovely Voyage of Sinbad, <laughs> the Last the Voyage, voyage of Sinbad, the Voyage of Sinbad. Uh, yeah, and Sinbad and the cryptocurrencies. Yep, <laughs> Sinbad and the aggravating. Ether. You know, that's a good one. <laughs> the, that's a good one. And yeah, I'm. Um, I know nothing of these movies, to be honest. I, I was well, watching this and I was thinking, like, this is like the, you know, the superhero movie of, of, of that era. It, it feels like, like there's like some kind of spectacle. There's visual effects. You know, there's some there's some muscle. Well, you know, era muscle. Obviously, the era has changed. Hairy well, muscle middle-aged and men. sweat. And, and hey, <laughs> lots skin. of sweat. A lot, lot of sweaty men in skirts hairy. with hairy chests. <laughs> Is definitely, you know, you know, whatever this equivalent of like jacked up, you know, like dudes mm-hmm. with like shaved chests and like splitting um, tree trucks in half. So that's, that's what right. I thought. I, I, that That's uh, that immediately because like, yeah, there's not a lot of like substance in here. It's a very straightforward. I, I thought, you know, when I was watching this, I remembered that uh, I realized that this must have been actually kind of a cool spectacle to watch. I mean, this is 60... Two sixty three. Three. Yeah. Um, the only thing that came to mind in terms of this genre is like the Ten Commandments. Wasn't that kind of mm-hmm. a Yes. Yeah, that's but that's serious. probably part of it. it. But but yeah, Ten Commandments was a big one, right? That was like the big that was like the dark night of the sound by Cecil B. DeMille. Like the like the fans, it. they're talking to like, oh man, like this Jason Argonauts, like it's cool effects. The skeletons yeah. are cool, but you know, have you seen, you know, Ten Commandments? It's from commandments. the Bible, man. Have you read the Bible? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's based like on the Bible. Parting of waters and stuff. But I think that's <laughs> have kind Have you heard of, of the uh, Catholic Church? You know, <laughs> serious yeah. stuff. It's very serious. Super serial. I wanted to say that that's reminded me of like the Ten Commandments, this era. I'm guessing maybe it started it or something. I don't know. What, Jason? No, like Ten Commandments, like Ten that Commandments? kind of. Because tell me you this. You said Italians. We, yeah, well, yeah what, the what, Italians did that. I would. Do, I did a little bit of research. Not a lot, so what? I don't, you know. Italians? Yeah, it, many Italian films came out that had that kind of Greek mythology, swords and sandals. That's what it was called. And, it, and like Tim said, this very similar to how we had like all these comic book movies now. Like, sure, there was the Western, but the Western was like in the 30s and 40s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After, during World War II, after World War II. 
And then this musicals. Kind of era so riddle came me out. this: When did Cleopatra you know, come out? The exact failure. same year as Jason and the Argonauts. Yeah. Wow. The big, but and they were like tanked big, it. <laughs> <laughs> but they're historical stuff. Like what was what was the big one? Uh, like Adams. Ben Hur and Ben Hur, oh, Ben Hur. Oh, it's so good. Epic. Um, I think that was the, the, the big Ten epics. Yeah. But those are like super big. Like this one doesn't fe- feel. This one feels a little bit of uh, TV like, show. Uh, even the mm. budget doesn't like. I know the effects are pretty cool, but like locations and, and stuff like that. I mean, there's some cool like stuff in here, but it doesn't feel like super I think crazy. So. You know, like those. It, yeah, it wasn't like a Spartacus, a like fifty epic. million people being like I'm Spartacus. In but still, if you think about it, I mean, if you went to the cinema to see this for casual viewing in the early '60s, probably really pretty cool. If you go on to see it, and then you see these effects, yeah, come yeah. to life. Um, like, here's the funny thing that I, I just to, realized about five minutes yeah. before we started recording. This is based on an actual like Greek mythology. I honestly, I thought this was like Hollywood mumbo jumbo especially because of jason the name jason i was like jason who the fuck is jason <laughs> in the argonauts because one thing that i learned is that this is actually based on mythology not yep. like hollywood made up and and i thought for well first of all i thought jason and the argonauts was like a 90s <laughs> ska band i, I think oh. i got them I thought the uh, best up with the Aquabats, but uh, what? but I saw I saw the clips of the Skeletos like on every YouTube video. Oh, it's like the best, it's, it's classic, classic best VFX yeah. or like where VFX came from before yeah. CGI. Like so, I've seen I've seen this Los Skeletos, but I've never had idea what what's it about. Yeah, and I was first. Yeah, sorry, no go. No, no I just I want to say is like I, I was like this is actually based on like this dude's like Greek mythology writing. Like the Jason was an actual dude. I just got so well, confused with the name the story, Jason. Yeah. I thought it was I like, because like you thought it was you thought Based it was going to be someone who came story. back in time or something, right? Because because the plot of this Based movie, like story. um, this year came out the movie Mank with like the Dave Fincher movie about the writer yeah. of um, I almost said The Shining, Citizen like, Kane, Citizen Kane, and there's a scene in this movie where um he is like employed by this big studio, like this you know back in the studio system. It's like a writer's room where they just were supposed to like come up with like scripts and ideas and they don't do anything. They just smoke and drink all day, like play games, do crap, do nothing. And when they're called to for the pitch, right, they basically go into the room and they play this game of like a live like riffing of, of making it up. So one of them will start and be like, well, there's this boat and there's a lot of sweaty men. Oh, and then, right, like the story and then, and then, telling. And George, where does it go <laughs> next? And then they just like tag it to the other person and they just make it up on the fly and wow. then they pitch it like that and then the you know the producer head is like well that's very interesting that's that's new they're just basically wasting time until they sorry just what was of, this for what industry like film industry tv film industry? Yeah, yeah 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 like the big studios like and universal or whatever uh what was citizen k it was like what oh what, 50s? 40s yeah yeah so so i immediately thought this movie was written like that because this movie happens like that it's like then this happens. Then this happens. And then this happens. Yeah, this, this is, is happens. Yeah, essentially, yeah. This I didn't is, this, know this it was actually based on like... <laughs> yeah. Like I said, actual... based on a true factual story, Jason and the Argonauts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Back long ago in ancient Greece, there was a golden age of powerful gods and extraordinary heroes. The greatest and strongest of all these heroes yeah, remember... was in the film for about 20 minutes. <clears throat> and then he left. The first time I saw the Skeletos was in the making of Jurassic Park. That's the, right. Um, yeah. Documentary talking about how Steven Spielberg knew about claymation, stop motion mm-hmm. animation. And he uh, obviously liked it, but then obviously, you know, wanted something better. And then, then they invented CGI. Peter Jackson invented. Oh no, Peter Jackson. <laughs> Peter yeah. Steven Spielberg. Oh guys, Spielberg. I have a great factoid since we're here. So remember uh-huh. that Peter Jackson book I was telling you about? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. A long time ago on the old podcasts. Well, there's other Peter Jackson book that I've been trying to finish, like in the course of three yeah. years. <laughs> I think it was six, <laughs> not, not very years. riveting, I, I assume. <laughs> no. And, uh, but there was some interesting factoids. Man, I have to remember what it was. Basically, it was the guy who invented um, Massive, right? He yeah. actually ended up wanting to sell, right, Massive, the product other mm-hmm. studios and stuff but they actually he actually signed a, a clause agreement with peter jackson 
that he couldn't really do that without Peter Jackson's permission, I think, which is interesting. Okay. About. And also, he was stopped being involved with Lord of the Rings after the first movie. Huh. I never knew that. So I guess his job was done. Yeah, his job, he couldn't, just, couldn't sell yeah. his stuff. He was sad. He was done. <laughs> well, anyway, anyway to that concludes my factoid. Oh. I'll be back. That's an interesting <laughs> Thank factoid. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll be back for more. Um, so listen, so Jason and the Argonauts, right? So I wanted to hear your impression, but I think it would be good to actually just give a little synopsis first. You know me and my great synopsis. Yes, right? yes. But in this case, it's pretty simple. So I'm very, you know, very happy to try to well, get well, this. Well. <laughs> so, so long ago in it's ancient Greece, simple, there so was... He seemed. So it's there him. was uh, there was uh, Peleus, the 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 main bad guy in this movie, essentially, right? And Polias, well, like, takes he place, is really oh, Polias, forgotten yes. about by the end of the movie. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't think so, he's the main bad guy out soon. Yeah. So so he he t- he asks the soothsayer. <laughs> you can, he asks you him, can skip the initial setup because it doesn't matter yeah, in the end true. anyway. It, yeah. Whatever yeah. is set up at the beginning, the movie forgets by the end. It's not That's important. That's so I mean, true. But to be fair, like the whole thing is that that's the whole reason they're going to get the Golden Fleece, right? But, but then they don't favorite, do anything with it. My, my favorite like, part at the beginning, like he said to him, is like, you know, he will, the one sandaled man will come and kill you, right? And then Jason yes. comes and he's like, I don't want to kill you. I want to find this fleece. <laughs> yeah. And and then he goes on the fleece. And then by the end of the movie, I, I was expecting like, oh, they're going to go back and, you know, kill this guy, reclaim because he killed his father and revenge. And I know. L- land. No. Oh, Let's see what other adventures Jason will go on to. Uh, sorry, sorry, Philip. Yeah. But continue. Okay. Yeah. So basically, Pelias, the evil man, kills the king, and then he says, "This is in ancient Greece." And uh, he asks his soothsayer, "What's going to happen?" And but the soothsayer says, "One of the kids of the king still alive, and uh, his name is Jason, and he's gonna he's gonna wreck your shit one day." <laughs> and then, and then he says, "Well." I'll decide, I'll try to, uh, you know, I'll try, I'll try to, uh, we'll see about that, right? But you know what? He tries to kill him, but, you know, his mom was there in the temple of uh, Hera, you know, one of the Greek gods. You mean Pelias' mom was there? No, no, Jason's mom was there. <laughs> and then, Pelias was like, don't kill the child. She was like, then, no, then, my son. <laughs> and then... He's saved because you can't go against the will of the gods, even though Zeus gave him permission to take this kingdom, but he didn't give him, you know. Pelias is saved? Yeah. Pelias, no, Jason's okay. saved. <laughs> Sorry. Jason saved because of Hera's protection, because she was, because his, his, his mom, Jason's mom, ran into the temple and prayed to her to mm-hmm. keep him safe, and you can't yes. do anything against mm-hmm. the will of the but gods. But she got killed, but she got killed. She got stabbed yeah. in the back by yeah. Fels. Yeah. Yeah, for the Pelias, the yeah, so, shit for her. <laughs> so Pelias goes, no, 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 no. Uh, the soothsayer says, you know, you got to watch out for the man with one sandal. The one sandal man. He's going to be, he's yeah, the one sand, he's the one sandal man. And the one sandal man. I honestly thought <laughs> fast he's going to be in one sandal the entire time. But <laughs> whole movie. That's another, yeah. <laughs> so you flash forward 20 years with the gods talking amongst each other in Mount Olympus. And they, they, you know, they're, they're, this is for them, this is a game, you know, and they're just like, hey, Flash you know. forward, but without any warning. Like, honestly, if you didn't pick up, you wouldn't know it's flash forward 20 years. Yeah, I think also if you didn't see Jason on the poster, you'd be like, who's this random man? Yes, exactly. Yes, the random man. So, flash forward 20 years, Pelias is having a swim, falls down, just decides to drown i don't know what's going on he just starts drowning doesn't doesn't like then, vera no what's her name the goddess she like Hera, she, Hera. She, she, she's like smoke which is a really cool effect but she drowns him so so well oh yeah, yeah she was there that? Right? Yeah. that was weird well so okay let's let's i'm sorry to to barge in on your synopsis but so she, he is supposed to kill palias because he the gods told him he could have his revenge yet she is Hera drowning anyway. Hera is drowning the guy he's supposed to kill so he saves him instead of killing him because he doesn't <laughs> yeah. know who he is and well, then maybe, nothing out of it happens inten- maybe her intention was that this happens so that he can find the golden fleece you know and then restore peace and prosperity to the kingdom because Jason starts ranting to Pelias who he doesn't know is Pelias but he saved him because he had one sandal no 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 because he's, he saved him because like, he's a good guy <laughs> And he's just ranting to Pelias without knowing. He's saying, Pelias, you know, he 
ruin my entire village, I mean, the city, whatever, my country. Uh, yeah. I'm the rightful king. And uh, it, it, it turned into a... I sound like Homer Simpson. It turned into a... <laughs> <laughs> that nice pun there, Homer. A quickie from, mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The quickie mark. Homer from the original Homer. I'm I'm looking for the golden fleece. Um and he says, well, and then so Pelias just says, is, is you know, because he can't kill him right there because that would be again, you know, some kind of retribution he could. would happen. He could. He could he have. Could. He had the gods on his back. But he, he just stabbed him in the face. Yeah. No, one and of the so gods was said, there. One of the gods was even there. He could have stabbed him. One of the gods was there. The the one with the wings on his head. What, what's this called? Yeah, Hermes. 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 Yeah, he was there. Remember, he was <laughs> like this guy's say? an old man, just chilling. Yeah, he was the soothsayer. He was oh, the soothsayer. Yeah. I was going to get to that point where he's like, oh no, you know, the soothsayer is actually Hermes. Yeah, but yeah. I forgot about so, that. <laughs> yeah. So go on. Instead of all this, he tells. Jason to look for the golden fleece because that will restore peace and prosperity to the kingdom. But you know, when Jason leaves, he goes, ha, ha, ha. well, I hope he dies. And we never see him plan. again. We never see Goodbye. him again. Uh, then he has a talk with a soothsayer who turns out to be Hermes, takes him up to Mount Olympus. And he says, listen, look, the gods are doing, doing this. What are we going to do? And Zeus is like, hello there. And he's in Mount Olympus, you know, Jason, really small man because the gods are big. Yep. And he says, you know, Zeus um, asks him what he wants because, you know, this is all part of the game. Um, Jason says, I don't want anything. I, in fact, didn't even know that you existed. I didn't believe in you. Remember that? Yeah, he just wanted revenge. Oh, no. Kill the He just wants revenge his for his people. Yeah. And uh, the god, you know, Hera is on his side. He didn't even know that, but now he's he becomes a believer. <laughs> And because um, he sees, he I don't think that's I don't think that's how belief works. <laughs> yeah, no. If you see something, see, you don't I need believe. to believe in it. You just you just like, you just like oh yeah, yeah, this exists. Well, yeah, and um, different times in the Greek world. I told you, a <laughs> true story. Yeah, so he wants to he wants to look for the golden fleece, and Zeus is like, I can get you, you know, armies and you know a crew and a ship. And he's yeah. like, I don't need those things. Zeus crew, I can do them myself. I don't need the Zeus crew. I can do this myself. And he does so. And Hera hey, by helps the way, him on the way. Isn't the actor dubbed? I was going to get to that. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. Uh, we need now. to talk about that actor. We need to talk about the actor. <laughs> okay, the guy who plays Jason. Jason. Not only does he have yes, a boring Todd ass Armstrong. name. Todd <laughs> Jason, like old Ben. Like he, they could be old <laughs> friends. Jason and old Ben. <laughs> But the dude is like anti charismatic, anti movie star, and he simultaneously reminded me of five people I know in real life. <laughs> this dude he is so of- out of place in that movie, it's <laughs> hilarious. It's just like a random ass dude just walked onto set and it's like, This is Jason. Hi. And his, his name is probably Jason. That's that's his how I name. felt every time John. I saw him. No, his name's Todd. Todd. <laughs> well, his real name is He John, looks like a yeah. Todd. He does. Yeah, he's he's Todd. Uh, he looks a little bit like our friend Ivan, a little bit, I'd say. He does. You know, he does like, have like, like that, you know, Eastern Slavic look. He's like a guy, reason. a guy you, a guy you know. Yeah, yeah, guy. He would, you would uh, probably buy you a beer if you were short on money. Yeah, and he's dubbed over by another actor called Tim Turner. So there well, you go. Yeah. Hmm. So Jason. So did you notice that Tim Turner? No, I Timmy I'd Turner. Honestly, yeah. No. Well, that Tim did a good job. Tim Turner. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so listen, Jason says, I can find my own crew. And I thought that, you know, I, I'm used to this movie. I've seen it many times. But Oh, really? Yeah, I've seen it quite a few times. Um, so watch it every and weekend. Put it on for comfort. No, as a kid, Sweet. like when I was younger, stuff like that. I watched it occasionally. Come on, Jacob. You've watched it many times, too. Drinking with some beer. kebab. Watching <laughs> beer. And yeah, I've watched it many times as a kid. Bro. Bro and, and, you, and, you, and you think that... Uh, when he says, I'll set up the greatest games, you know, that, that the world has ever known, mm-hmm. unless the gods decree otherwise. And you think that it's going to be like, oh, here we go. This is going to be a whole, like, middle section of the movie where he's... Yeah, it's like, you know, it's like when they play Quidditch in, in, in like, <laughs> yeah. Harry Potter. It's going to be a stadium, people watching, cheering. 
No. What is it? Jason it just cuts the to the end. I think that was yeah. the title. <laughs> Where he had it. Just a bunch yeah, of dudes. It's Being just a like bunch of dudes. Sweaty men. And everyone's cheering. Games. Sweaty men cheering around. and, yes. and, and Having a good time. They compl- and we hey, get to see all the moments naked, where they though? win. That's, that's more true story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. If you do the games in ancient Greece, they're naked. But it's true. They should have all been more naked. They should have all been And just throwing naked. discs. And, yeah. And, Stuff. And he gets he gets his crew ready. He just assembles the crew in about f- three minutes or one minute, one and a half minutes yeah. in the in the runtime of the movie. And then someone goes Hercules, he's here, and Hercules comes. That was a cool cameo. Like, who knew? Can I say surprise? Hercules. My is favorite here. thing about this movie is middle aged man Hercules. <laughs> yeah, yes, he's probably the most interesting character. He's so like happy. And you know what made me think about? It made me think about they should make an old man Hercules movie. Like a modern mm. like like imagine Oh yeah. Like like imagine Hercules, like he's done it all. He has slain every creature. He has <laughs> made love to every man and woman and creature, you know, in the ancient Greece. He's done it all, tried all the wines, all the foods. You know, he's like he's he mortal. He's now jaded. He 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 has nothing to live for. Like nothing feels satisfying to him. You know, he's like sitting in some tavern. You know, just like old man, just drinking some some Greek wine, just thinking about his life. You know, and then, and then like you know, he learns he learns something new he never had, like love or something yeah, man. like that. Like like Hydra, yeah. like a teenage Hydra, just just like walks into the bar with a knife and he's like, Hercules, you killed my dad. And he's like, <laughs> Hydra, you mean that? Yeah, like a teenage Hydra, like a baby Hydra. He's got a knife. <laughs> with a knife. <laughs> and, she, and, she, knife you. and she's like, and he's like, I'll kill you, Hercules. And she's like, I, and Hercules is like, I've killed everyone. I, I, I'm not up for this. Just, 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 just kill me, Hydra. You know, like end it for me. I can't do this. And, and the, and the Hydra like throws the knife and starts crying. It's like, I, I didn't really want to kill you. I just wanted you to kill me because I have no parents and I have no meaning of life. And then he feels sorry for the teenage Hydra and then go like on these adventures. Adventures, like you know, like yeah, like, finding the the lost do? Hydra or something. The new labors of Hercules. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that. Like, Tim, are you just riffing this like in Mink? Yeah, that's just that's what I'm. Doing. <laughs> I, I'm inspired, but no. We but should like, make our own that. Jason the Argonist story in the Mink style. Because like everyone is like yeah. like shifty in this movie, but Hercules, he's like he's a true man. He, he he's you know true he, man. he's great. He's you know, one of the he gets things... excited by a stick. <laughs> Oh yeah, the stick. Yeah, 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 that's great. Hercules. Yeah. So interestingly enough, um, Ray Harryhausen's idea was that he didn't want. By the way, Ray Harryhausen mm-hmm. and Charles S. Schneer, H. Schneer, not S. Schneer. What am I talking about? Charles H. Schneer, the producers. They they were the two producers. They actually were. In fact, we're gonna watch all of like two more of their movies mm-hmm. after this one. And they were kind of like, like you, you know what I mean? Like they were kind of like, uh, no, Kevin Feige, Kevin Feige of the of the, the sandal yes. swords universe. Yes, 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 yes. Of these stop motion films because they invented the stories and they kind of directed. You know, they they directed where the production would go. And the directors of these films, they were just kind of like, you know, they're just brought in to, you know, direct the actors and you know get get things done that way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And. So Ray Harryhausen's idea was that he didn't want to have like super bodybuilder Hercules. He wanted to have someone who just looked like less. That's good, I think. Less, you know, chiseled, you know. And I think he that that so really excited. went well because he's like, cool, right? He was like, like he. I think he was like, you know, that Hercules. Like he's for cool ten guy. years, he had nothing to do. Like honestly, do you see how excited he was? Like to be with a bunch of guys <laughs> in a boat, and like ready to bunch kick of some sweaty ass. men in the boat. Yeah, he's like, yes. I've been waiting for this. Let's do this. Let's yeah. adventures begin. And then, and then the other kid that shows up next to Hercules uh, is that one, one boy that was like, oh, oh, we need more brains instead of bronze as well. I have trouble remembering because they look very similar. Was he the one that got crushed by the big statue or he's the one yes. who's betrayed them? Oh, yeah. See, that's see, the other that's thing. The question. They do look who's similar. the discus thrower? That's uh, the, oh, what's this discus? Name? Yeah, that's discus guy. He discus. He's he does the little skipping. That's what I thought. 
But is he the betrayer yeah, yeah. or he's the one who No, gets he's crushed. not the betrayer. He's the one that dies. Huh. Because I thought he was a betrayer too. Because <laughs> they look very similar and they don't really do a good job establishing them. They just kind of throw them at you at that one scene and then you need to remember their names. And yep. honestly, yeah, I, know. There's I wasn't so many sure. Names. The only names I remember was Jason and Hercules. And there's Hercules and then there's Jason and then there's everyone else on the boat except the old guy. Yeah. You don't remember well, the yeah. old guy because Ar- he never wears a shirt. Yeah, but he never wears a shirt, so you know. His name's Argus, remember? he's Because that's the Argo. Oh, the oh yeah. And the Argonauts. Yeah, Scumbag. he built the boat. He built the ship. So and the then Argonauts, the Merry Men. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, anyway, let's yes. get let's get to let's get to the story. So he built his he got his his team, you know, his his team mm-hmm. ready to go into the, the Avengers. Go into the land. The yes, to go yeah, exactly, the Argonauts. To go into the land of uh uh Ubladi. Wherever. The, the Ubladi, that's right. That in, in Colchis, sorry, in Colchis, right? So they, they head on, they they voyage into Colchis. And now comes all these set pieces, right? So we have the beginning, right, where they get onto that I was gonna say planet, I can't believe this. I then they go into this island, right? And it was and it's this abandoned island. And oh then, yeah, you forget uh, and he gets he wait, yeah, wait, wait, oh, yeah, fill, so, yeah. so the lady the lady goddess, the, the Hera, yes. Hera, she's like you I'll help you five times. I think but by the time they just start the voyage, she already helped them like five oh, yeah. times. Oh, yeah. You know what it reminded me of? You know, on like, who wants to be, who wants to be a millionaire? You know, and there's a like, life. <laughs> he just calls that number. <laughs> it's like, he just keeps doing it. And you know, it, like, yeah. the contestant that just like uses them all up before they even get to like $200. That was, that was basically He's the Hera's most useless. Life. Like, he uses up that landline five times. Anytime there's a hurdle, we'll just talk to the gods and then he's out he's like <laughs> screw the gods i don't believe the gods anymore i abandon the gods because some harpies are they were so bullying a blind man when Hercules <laughs> was was leaving and then he's like you know she's like you this is your last life i know i know just tell me <laughs> <laughs> i know i know just tell me yeah so they go to the isle of bronze and um hera says he talks to the mast was it the mast this, yeah the, the, but the there was the backwards mast she's mast yeah, she's in the back the best. on the poop deck in the best Check, checking yeah. their asses <laughs> as they row checking the poop deck yeah <laughs> and um and she talks to him and uh, as you know like her eyes open up really cheesy mechanical <laughs> way yeah jason come here scratch my chin go to and the isle of bronze but don't touch anything yeah, don't touch anything on the Isle of Bronze. Skip right? food. Yeah. Well, guess what? <laughs> Here comes Hercules. With He's ready to screw everything up with his club. <laughs> yeah. Chasing and he and his goats. pal. Chasing goats. He and his pal chasing goats. They run off into the distance, right? They see these big giant bronze statues. They look really cool and awesome. And then there's one of them and it says, Talos. And then, and then Hercules or that kid say like, didn't Jason tell us to want, be uh, wary of Talos? Yes. And then they all, and he's like, but let's get in. Let's, let's, let's look inside. Because it's like, it's been 10 years. T- he's been sitting in that tavern. The- he wants adventure. He wants to go back to the gods. He hasn't, you know, seen a god in so many years. He's been forgotten. He's like, I used to be one of the greats. Yeah. Hercule? They used to sing <laughs> about yeah. me on vases. <laughs> on vases. Yeah, Hercules. I mean, he's the child of Zeus, not of Hera, which is the, you know, in, in the Disney yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Zeus has been mischievous. Yes, ju- juice. I was going to say juice. <laughs> the, the Zeus juice has well, been that, around. That's where he gets his um, his uh, interest in women. Remember on the on the <laughs> ship, he's like, oh, I can't even have, have women. Yeah, it's, they've and been five yeah, days right. on a no. boat, and he's like, where are the women? <laughs> <Yes>. I can't. <laughs> right, I don't and, uh, sign up for this burn. voyage to... To be sitting on a boat with a bunch of guys? I want the women. Yeah, yeah I, know. I know, I know. And so they see this big statue, right? It's a huge bronze, like, warrior, right? He's crouching. And then on the platform, you can go inside, right? Because it's so big. They go inside the platform, and then in there is, like, these gigantic treasure pieces, you know? But they're all, like, supersized. What was it? There was, like, a, per- a necklace, and then there's, like, these big pearls, and there's, like, coins. Huge pearls, and then, yeah. He takes one of those needles, which is supposed to be a needle for, like, sewing. God's sewing. He's like, I'll use it as a javelin. And then, and then Todd, whatever his name is, <laughs> the kid says, like, we shouldn't take all this stuff in here. From from here, right? Didn't 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 they say we shouldn't do that? He's like, ah, yeah. no one's going to miss it. The gods of the boat said. But things. no, guess what? Talos wakes up, and it's a pretty cool shot where Talos turns around with his bronze face, stares at the men. 
first first monster attack happens you know it's a good it's a i think it's a good scene why do you think it's a good scene expound on that thought all right well this giant monster comes out from the platform that's very imaginative first first of all right and then he just starts this is like in the 1960s you know we had godzilla sure we had king kong but we didn't have like a giant metal man <laughs> walking around <laughs> except for and the way godzilla that they, but okay fine that's true it's that true. didn't it didn't happen yet didn't happen yet I um, the 80s, right? yeah and uh man like the the way that the stop motion is and i'm gonna say this in general for all the monsters that show up in this movie the way that the stop motion is like you done in so much care that in like the interaction with that and the live action i think that is something to be looked at and be like wow that's really cool because it really does blend very well it's you know i mean of course you got the composition you know showing its age with the chemical process that they had to do with the oh yeah i mean know, like a uh, yeah, composite in, in, inside like the, the footage because i think a lot yeah, of those the, were like yeah but projection behind them not not actual compositing but it, it seemed like you can see the degraded film on some of the shots when, when you have like uh composite yeah, film it again yeah basically they do mm-hmm. they run the on a projector the frame by frame the the be, like the backdrop behind mm-hmm. the cl- yeah, claymation that's right. And then, like, the f- for- foreground is, like, an image that's comped in. So you, you, there's, like, a difference between the two real-life footages. One is, like, you know, yeah. slightly It's so interesting desaturated. with these kinds of movies, when they remaster them, you can just see the shots. One is, like, pristine, clean, and then the next effect shot's, like, yeah. green, yeah. green, green, green. I watched the, the Blu-ray, and there's a lot of, like, sharpening effect and all kinds of weirdness, especially mm. in the first sequence. Like, it was dark and sharp. Like, I was having trouble. Once they're on the boat and naked, it's, it's fine. Just the, just the beginning <laughs> is a little bit Their nakedness wonky. forgives the green. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's a clever way of how, like, Talos was used as, like, this big, giant, you know, Here's kind a of question. Did these he guys look big and to you? escaping. Yeah, I mean, I think so. Like, for so, the time, I can't just say, like, yeah. oh, no, of course it doesn't. There were a couple of shots when they were, like, from from beneath, from, um, like, like a angle that you had some perspective on it. I think a lot of them were a little bit too, like, from far yeah, away. And it, and it looked too, like, Small. a stage instead of, like, you know, how you should sh- shoot, like, you know, Godzilla especially modern you shoot it from like really below angle so it, so they look humongous but there weren't that many shots of that unfortunately it was like very from the side kind of angle yeah that's where they probably got most of their footage cuz like yeah. i think when you had to you know when you had to record someone looking you know like you have the plate like the live action yeah. footage in the foreground and you have the stop motion in the background you have to use this masking thing yeah you know so, that's okay, you know. I, I think yeah, it's okay. I think the effects visuals were really amazing. I think some of the choreography was was it was a bit wonky. I think like the fight with the Hydra is hilarious because just swing his swords around. Yeah, for, it's just I knew you were gonna say that. I was thinking when I was watching it when they get to the Hydra who's guarding the Golden Fleece. Yeah, Jason's just swinging his sword. That's all he's oh, doing. The lazy Hydra. <laughs> Yeah, this, that that one was like hilarious. But then you, know, when you get to the skeletons, like they're to like interacting, and there's like choreography. That that one was amazing. But the Hydra was like, what, what's going on there? Okay, continue, continue. Yeah. They fight the big bronze man. Yeah, he, they take. They find out that the ankle, because you know Hera gave them a yeah know, the last wish. She's cheating and, again. Oh, this is the fourth uh, cheat. I can't remember. Yeah, there's a there's a little there's a little hubcap on his ankle and. Um, Jason pulls that open and all bleeds this lava him like a pig. comes out. Yeah, bleeds him like lava? a pig, and then he dies. I don't know. It's just hot water, I guess. Steam, red hot water, boiling water, and um, yeah, I, he I falls was down and collapses. When Jason was, uh, you know, um, taking out the little bottle cap opening on his foot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my goodness. I mean, he could have been like burnt to to a crisp. Like, I mean, <laughs> that thing has pressure, and he flings it out. He could have been lavaed to death. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, why is his body even falls? filled with that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> the Zeus juice. <laughs> the lubricant Zeus <laughs> juice. <laughs> he yeah. is uh, so sizzling inside. So yeah. So Talos f- cracks and falls down on top of Hercules's little friend, and yeah. he didn't see that. Hercules didn't see it, and when they all escape with the ship, and they're you know. They're already sailing out to sea a little bit. Hercules is like, I can't find my friend. 
I'm going to stay here. I'm going to look for him. And uh, that's it. I'm not going to be able to help anymore. And that's the last time we, we see, see Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> People just and leave this movie. It's things, and then things kind of go downhill from there. I mean, you wait, know, and then they go ask kidding. Hera. They're like a last lifeline, and then she, <laughs> yeah, then she yeah. tells them Zeus has other plans for him. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a video game. That's it. Hercules is gone. He's out of the film, and he was like the most fun character. I yeah, you know, totally. And they set him up too. You know, they set him up with his friend with the discus and the you know outsmarting him with the discus at the beginning and everything, and yep. he's gone. It's gone. Now we all have the we just have the boring people, and oh, just yeah. to make things really fast, we they go into another island with a blind man who's being you know harassed by harpies. <laughs> He's getting bullied hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by these harpies, and what like he gets uh, he gets like all this these snacks given. To him. <laughs> snacks. <laughs> snacks, but he can't eat them. <laughs> Pop tarts get, and yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like snacks. goldfish, yeah. Pepperidge Farm the, goldfish and apples. At about this time, uh, oh, Jason boxes. runs out of favors, so he immediately abandons the gods. He's like, his friends are like, but we can't help this blind man. Zeus punished him. Screw Zeus. <laughs> I know, right? Jason's, Jason's like, a, you know, he's a, he's a rebellious lad. He's a businessman. Yeah, I think he's He's shrewd. ready for business. Because the reason they help him is because he's going to tell them where exactly the fleece is, you know, mm. yes. where, where, what route to take. Because he's, he's an ancient, uh, I don't know, he knows things. This old man who's blind, he's been cursed by Zeus, he's been, you know, being like bullied yeah. by these harpies. Harpies he look also, great. Harpies are, uh, uh, yeah, I think, they, I think they, they looked worse to me out of all of them. They were too clay-me. Like, they, they needed some detail on them. They looked like right. a bunch of clay yeah. Unfortunately, so they, even even Lazy Hydra looked better than the harpies. Right. <laughs> right. Well, they they, you know, they capture the harpies. No it's problem. True. Job done. Now this old man can watch them get, you know, the scraps that he eats <laughs> from the snacks. You want some fruit roll-ups? How <laughs> you just get the paper. So it's like that kind of thing. Um and then they ma- they go on their merry they go on their merry way to the next uh to the next uh island. Uh, you notice island, the theme of this but film. Not, it's a bunch of yeah. island hopping. Yeah, it's a bunch of island I gotta hopping. be honest, there's a between between the islands when rocks are like a, are like gonna crush them. The clashing I, rocks, yeah. I, I honestly zoned out because oh, yeah, it was so 100%. boring. So boring. I had, I was just like checking my phone. I was like, are the rocks still crushing? Oh, look, Neptune's here. All right. Nep- I was going to say, what did you think about <laughs> Neptune and the fact I didn't, that Hera's I didn't using see him her? Pop out. I didn't see him pop out. I just was like, <laughs> the sequence of the rocks crushing was so long that I was just so bored of it. I was like, <laughs> and then I just looked yeah. back and so there he is, huge Neptune, just pushing rocks with his manly yeah, chest. Yeah, he's helping him. But it was a good shot. It was like a shot. It was like (laughs) beneath, like he made him look huge. Like you could see his armpit and his chest hair. It was amazing. So why is Poseidon, the king of the sea, one of the gods being used as a pawn? Oh, Poseidon, sorry. Yeah. (laughs) Neptune is the Roman name, right? Okay, sorry. (laughs) Right? Why is he used as a pawn? He's a god too. I don't get it. Anyway, moving on. It's a bottom feeder. He's a prawn of the gods. Yeah, yeah. So before before the clashing rocks happened, uh, they clashed into a different boat and... On that boat, one survivor was still there. And it was a woman who has, like, she's just yeah, shows up in, like, confusing. an hour in. And, like, there's, like, you know. Yeah. Just got to have the woman there, right? That's kind of how it like, feels. It's like, I love you. It's like there's, this, there's this, like, broken boat and on and, and has a flag. And on the flag says, love interest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Surprised they didn't edit that out. But, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what it says. Director's cut coming out so. soon. <laughs> and Jason, our exactly. every everyday man, he's like a woman. I'm in love. <laughs> oh, that's right. that's <laughs> the everyday man, he's like a woman. Good thing Hercules isn't here to take her away. That's true. Me. Hercules, be <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like, look at my golden needle. I stole it coming from the gods. Throw my sweaty skin. Rub your <laughs> rub your hands through the chesticles <laughs> on my chest. Uh, as the sweat so they get drips to, on your hands yeah they get to Colchis right that's the island where she's from which happens to be the place that the gods gifted or was it Zeus I don't know Zeus does a lot I don't know of it's the end of the world they wear funny hats because <laughs> it's the end of yeah, the world yeah because they're a different country right they worship um, and the king the Abraham the Lincoln he yeah. invites them 
He right? looks a little, they, they look a, a little bit like Byzantine, not Byzantine, they look a little bit Babylonian. Persian? <laughs> Babylonian. <laughs> Babylonian. <laughs> yes, like they a bit Babylonian. Bababui, yeah. They could have Persian, yeah. Yeah, they should have used that name. Persian? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, look, come yeah. on, dude. Yeah, they, Nebuchadnezzar. they, they invite him, they, they invite Jason and his friends there, and then... On a whim, he's like, ah, but you're here to find the fleece, which is given us by the gods and give us peace and prosperity. You, you forgot, are he's betrayed. He was betrayed yes, by his yes. friend. He was betrayed by his friend. I forgot about that. That happens before that. Yeah, yeah. Because they fight his over friend. the woman. They fight over the woman. Whatever. He falls into the water. We think that he's gone. But no, he actually swam all the way there before them. Yeah. Somehow. And the swimming man, who was the most swimmer of them of the games, he dies, yeah. apparently. Yeah. He's just like, he what, swam too hard. What a loser. All that swimming <laughs> couldn't save him. <laughs> No, yeah. that was All one job, his one, his one yeah. talent didn't help him. Sad. <laughs> yeah, and so they're put into a jail. Woman goes out and saves them, like, yes. know, gets them out. And they quickly run to get the golden fleece. And they climb a few rocks, they, get, they find the golden fleece. <laughs> By the way, this entire what? time, I had no idea what the hell is a fleece. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> say, I say golden fleece was on the tree. I thought it was like some kind of fruit, you know, like a fig. Oh, I guess oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? And then, and then they come fig. and there's a there's a freaking ram, a golden yeah. ram. It's, it's such great. a weird. It's interesting how they made up stuff like that. I don't know if they ever made yeah. golden fleeces in the past, but it sounds what the really, hell is a fleece? Like, What's uh, like when you skin a when you skin oh, a, an uh, animal. Yeah, it's basically like a blanket. Huh. It's, yeah. How I played so much Red Dead Redemption, nobody said fleece. Well, I think it's ancient stuff. The fleeces, <laughs> oh, okay, you know, it's like okay, biblical and ancient, and so on. the ancient biblical fleece. Yes. So That's they the find West. it. Oh. Listen, they, f- <laughs> yeah. So 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 they find it. Betrayer man gets eaten by the Hydra. Hydra const- like, doesn't eat. But him, this golden kind of fleece is like him. literally spray. And the Hydra is the there. Spray. Yeah, it is. The Hydra is hired, but it's kind of useless. But the Hydra is so cool. Look, when. Ray Harryhausen had to animate this, and he was the only person doing it. So imagine mm-hmm. doing all those seven heads. Seven heads, managing. That's, 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 that's a, a lot. lot of heads to manage. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's nuts. But anyway, the Hydra is lazy. So why is the Hydra lazy? <laughs> I don't know. It's afraid of, of like swords that are like I mean, brandished. It's been guarding that freaking fleece forever. <laughs> yeah, it's been choking the traitor for like half an hour yeah. as well. So it's like tired. Like another one. No, it's with this golden fleece. Why do you even want this golden fleece? Look at me. I'm a hydra. I have seven heads. Fleece is only one head. (laughs) Well, there you go. And so Jason just stabs the hydra. Hydra dies, which is, I think, I love this, like, scene, but I just am disappointed at how short it is. I love the scene. Yeah, the hydra one is the weakest one. I think that's like, it's all dark. It's no, it's in like a, it's a, it's like in a spooky forest, and it, the Hydra is like the dudes really cool with design, the funny hats. Are and there's like, so much potential, you know, and it just so it has ends potential, very quickly. Therefore, it's good. It was also That's small. what I liked about it. Yeah, because it just. I would imagine potential. the Hydra being bigger. I was very confused. I know how this movie ends, right? <clears throat> with the Skeletos battle, I was like, "How do they go from this forest to the outside?" I was very confused. I think the well, forest just, is inside. Just crack because mm. it's dark. They just they just pop out in yeah. day, daylight outside. Right. No, they started when it was early morning or nighttime. Remember? Oh, just... is that why? Okay, okay. Yeah, because yeah, it was a party. They yeah. were like partying. No, yeah, party and then they were d- dungeoned. And then she's like, yes. I'll betray my man because I love you. And Jason's like, <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's that's what happens. And then they get up to the... And, you know, uh, the king got wind of this and he's mad, right? He takes his guards and they're chasing him. They're chasing him to... So they don't get the golden fleece. But guess what? Killed the Hydra. Took the golden fleece. Hey. Yep. And golden fleece is now they... brown fleece. Oh, yes, that's it, right. It stops being very golden. That's I don't know lame. why, but because the, because they couldn't afford to put the twinkle on them when it was moving. That's true. You know? moving. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It's hard. And they, Track and they shots. rush up on After the. Effects yeah, they didn't exist. <laughs> no. yeah, of course not. They rush up up on the on the hills and. The mad, the evil, no, not the evil. He's not evil, actually. This whole, I, that's what I wanted to bring up. Yeah, the yeah, Babulian. The Babulian, like, he's not, he has, he's not the bad guy, is he? You know, I yeah, mean, he they're stealing die. his prosperous. They're stealing his stuff. And that's what I got me thinking. If you made a new version of this, I think one of the pillars of, like, what this story would be about would be, like, human, you know, like, humanism, like, you know, like something about your, you know, compassion to your fellow man or following the gods. 
you know, what is, what is the, it's the dichotomy. Cause like, the gods. Do you do, yeah. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Like that's, that's, that's what would be one of the things that I was thinking of if you would make a new version of this. And, you know, I didn't make a new version of this. I probably won't make a new version of this, but uh, that would be a cool idea. Cause the, the gods things on are interesting in this because they're basically, I don't, I don't know, maybe Jacob, you studied philosophy and, and history. You, you can tell me of like how the, the function of the gods in a, ancient Greek mythology was oh, supposed to function, but they're, they're just like really, really like super powered aristocrats. They're, they're, they're just like, like they're not really controlling the world as, as like a, Oh, this God is what it was. Knows Tim, everything. Yeah, they're just like messing around. Listen. Like they, they're just powerful and they're screwing with the humans who are less powerful. They're all in control. That's exactly it. So yeah, that's Greek mythology. For their inter- entertainment. That's all they're From doing. Ph- philosophy school. So I think in Greek mythology, um, was Socrates? He was Greek, right? Yes. Yeah. So he was talking about like how I think that the notion was that there was this <laughs> actual creator called Demiurg who created mm-hmm. the universe. But I think it was more like a deistic view, like he just made it. And then he also made these gods, too. Well, didn't he... Wasn't wasn't there a clash of the uh, the Titans versus the gods? Could be. But Because the Titans were actually the parents of the gods, like... Kronos, oh, okay. they, for example, they rebelled oh, you know against the the huge ones. Maybe yeah. you know more. About and then the this. Olympians, yeah, the Olympians defeated them, and then they became the rulers. Because they are really and the Olympians the rulers. are the ones that we know. Yeah, 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 Zeus, yeah. they're just Hermes, like yeah, so much bigger okay. and more powerful. Yeah, but I think that they're just like yeah, they mess around. Yeah, they're they're not like in that's control what they do. of everything. Per yes. Se. So that's that's uh, interesting. We're almost yeah at the end of the episode, so we can finally get to the end of the. the well, we're movie. at the end. You see that? I'm I'm just telling you. So then, Abraham Lincoln gets you know asks some other god from some other dynasty. I don't know what that. Wait, the Babylonian that? dynasty. Yeah, yeah the, the, the Babylonian, Babylonian god. The Babylonian god to grant revenge, and then they and he were able the to. Hydra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Hydra gets burned teeth. up. They take the, they pick up the teeth and he's like, the children of the teeth of the Hydra, there will be no uh, escape from them. Yes. And then they corner up on the top of the, they corner the Argonauts with the golden fleece. First of all, they shoot the lady and then (laughs) uh, there's a fleece on her because it has healing powers. So here's the, here's the magical thing about this movie, right? So, so this movie in conventional movie making and script writing and storytelling, you have the rule of three, right? You do yeah. initial setup of something, right? And you kind of make it visible to the audience. Then in case they forgot or they maybe missed it the second time, you do you the reminder. remind them. Yep, the yeah. second one. And and then the third one is the payoff, right? You pay, pay off, off what you set up. And these are the three, you know, the three. And usually you do it, you know, set up at the beginning, reminder somewhere in the middle of the film, and then pay off at the end of the film, right? Great storytelling. This movie skips number two. It sets it up in one part of the scene shot and then pay off in the next scene. So woman is running. A soldier shoots her in, in the back with an arrow. Oh, no, she's dying. <laughs> next shot, she gets healed. That's disappointing. But this happens throughout right. this entire movie. Nothing. Nothing lasts more than two seconds. Oh, there's a, there's, there's a god. There, there's Talos. Don't touch him. They touch him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's, there's not a single Look, thing that lasts more steal. than like a Deal couple them. of sequences. I love it. It's amazing. Everything has them, immediate effect. I'm telling oh. you, this movie is just like a sequence of them island hopping and yeah. conquering the next challenge. Honkering? It's Conquering. Like, Oh, <laughs> the, the tr- betrayer guy, guy, they're like fighting on the ship. He jumps in the water. <gasps> What happened to him? We don't know. He he must have died. Next scene, oh, I betrayed you. <laughs> so yeah, <fucking> <laughs> I love it. It's so yeah, great. That'd be true. It's yeah. amazing. Um, so the ending fight is where the evil, king, not the evil king, the king from the baboons. He throws the <laughs> he throws the, the 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 teeth, and then they grow into skeleton men because another one previous victims of and he points into that right. <laughs> he points at the ground. Uh, that was amazing. That was great uh, blocking there. Uh, and, like they, I mean, the, yeah. that effect sequence is whew, good. 
It's the it's best one. Stuff. It's yeah. amazing. It's the crown jewel. The That's why I said fight. that if you went to watch the movie in cinemas back then, I mean, that would have been cool. Like, you get to the end, you're like, ooh, wow, skeleton fight. I mean, that's This is like the event, all the Avengers then. coming out of those holes. This is it. The skeletons are popping out on your left, Jason. And they're coming. It took four months to animate that. Wow. That's pretty good. I thought it was like a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I even for one dude, four months. That's cool. Also, that's did you good. notice that sequence is actually much shorter than you? I think i think it's like two minutes or something three minutes sound like that three, three well they, and a half. well they slowly start like walking for about five minutes and then and then the most amazing thing in this movie happens they're just like walking and this guy's like ha ha you can't fight my skeletos and it's just him and it's <laughs> two dudes and the music is like slowly building up and they're slowly walking the skeletos and then they scream and run and i laughed That's out the, loud ah! so hard that's the yeah. best. Oh, I never seen that. They're like, that's a, they just love it. It's just like, ah. People attack. were jumping out of their <laughs> seats in 1962. Yeah, yeah that's right. Dreaming they have a big fight. Skeletos. Most of Jason's friends are dying and he decides to, he gets cornered by the skeleton men and he falls into the water as the Argo with the with a few of his friends still on there are alive and they grab him. Good thing those skeletons don't work on water. Nope. They jump Unless though. Those could affect they jump the skeletons and you could see the splash. Yeah, because also they, just they threw clash some... swords. I mean, I, that's... I don't even know yeah, how they did Kong? that, honestly. Because you have to have... Oh, no, I know how they did it. Just pretend it. That's right. They pretended to fight people and they animated in the... Skeletons. That's correct. Good pretending. Yeah, yeah. Good pre- it, it, sold, and, it sold me. Yeah, yeah. And the movie abruptly ends after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the movie just like, <laughs> let me kiss you, woman. <laughs> He kisses the woman and the and 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 then the the Olympians. They Zeus and Hera. Sequel. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, which never happened because this movie bombed. I mean, it was, yeah, it was <laughs> not really? even skeletons helped them. Not even the skeletons How helped because because everyone who gave well, up it, by the time budget budget was up. three million. Box office was two point one million. Oh no, sad. Jason if they put the reason why the, the reason why it's bombed is because there was Cleopatra. There was all these other movies that came out that were similar, and this one didn't get the time of day. But you know what? This thing won in the end because in the end, many many people were influenced by this movie, and it was something that a lot of people remember, and me included. Nice, Jason and the Argonauts. Beautiful. They're, and it's music by Bernard Herrmann. And you know what I found out? He didn't use any strings in this entire score. The whole score was just brass, woodwinds, wow. percussion. Bum, 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 so what did you guys bum, think bum. in the end? What is your conclusion? I had a great time. Rating? I liked watching it again. Uh, what would you recommend? Phil would recommend, obviously, Tim. Yeah. Uh, maybe a bridged version, maybe we could get like, like <laughs> it was a bit too, like, yeah, I don't I know, know right? like some of the sequences dragged a bit, but that's like, the thing. Like this was 1963. That's kind I know, of how I know. it felt. And it's, of course they're better. Pacing. They're more gripping films than this hundred percent that were even in the past. And it used so much better to like watch because of its content and what it's trying to say. But this movie is, you know, spectacle, right? It's, uh, it's the end. Then this happens. Maybe. Yeah. I think I think now that I'm done watching it, I'm a little bit more positive of thinking about it. I think in it, it was like, I wish it was like an hour and a half. It just some of the some of the sequences are just like you know, just it is an hour tighter. and a half. <laughs> is it an hour and a half? Damn it! Why, <laughs> yeah. why did it feel so long? Like I, like it, it, now that I'm done with it, I'm completely fine with it. I'm not. I don't have any like just being in there. Like just the sequences are just ugh. the the. the giant metal man is like moving oh, his yeah. feet for like a na- two minutes so just get to the, <laughs> the island sequence. and grab that boat and shake it. it so here's some interesting little things that i wanted to say did you know that in original greek mythology talos was is is a giant no he's not a giant he's just a regular sized metal man bronze man and what he does is he actually goes into a fire gets himself super hot and runs around trying to hug people and kill them that way see that's great get, get that cool guy is in that? There. Yeah. Hot Gotta man watch out. Talos. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, you know what they <laughs> were gonna film they were gonna film this movie? Guess where? Where did they film it though? They filmed it in Italy. Oh, but probably in guess Croatia, where they were gonna film it? Croatia? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. In Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Also they were gonna film in Greece, but Greece didn't look as good as they expected it to. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> and like, so 
And and Yugoslavia, they couldn't because it, they said oh, the there's too much cor- they, it was too corrupt. Yeah, too corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> so the money uh, will disappear. The three million budget will be in like two thousand. Using the tooth, tooth as yeah. currency, so they yeah. didn't have the teeth. But uh, I don't know. Like I wanted to say, like Ray Harryhausen's like I think the person you remember the most with this because he, like I said, designed the monsters, he sculpted the monsters, and he animated the monsters, and he did the effects all by himself. And this is just one of the first movies, like one of one of the many movies that he did. And there's a lot of people who remember him and were inspired by him. He did a lot of those uh, old. Um, yeah. And we're gonna see another one next oh time God. as well. More more, more bare chested men. No sandals. No sandals. <gasps> no sandals this time. Oh no! I mean, what's you know, like dinosaurs, one? baby. Oof. Hail Hydra. <laughs> no, listen, listen. The, the effects are great. I and... thought you'd be excited. No, I'm listen. Excited. No, listen. Uh, you can be excited as as, as, as you want to. I, I'm saying the effects were amazing. Hercules was the bomb. The rest could be shorter. That's all I'm saying. Okay, yeah, fair I enough. I agree. It's Tom Hanks said Jason and the Argonauts isn't the best movie ever. Perfect. Well, I think we wrapped yeah. up. <laughs> yeah beautiful <laughs> i hope um, you enjoyed this episode i wanted i had a lot more to talk about but i guess my synopsis no, no, you, the you, entire podcast i love it you started the synopsis is very simple and it takes about an hour so um but that's also my fault i kept interrupting you because you kept interrupting yeah that's true uh, what did you want to say could have, we could have done so much more what else did you well, what say? what do you want to say i don't know i was gonna talk about ray harryhausen but i guess we'll we talk about what's, what's come on what do you want to say yeah. To, yeah, to tell us, you, you keep the rest for the other movies, but for, for today, tell us one Ray Housen thing. One Ray Harryhausen thing. Well, he used to be, he was an uh, um, uh, apprentice to Willis O'Brien, who was the special effects artist who did King Kong, you see. Mm. And as he worked on that, Willis O'Brien taught him a lot of techniques because Willis O'Brien was one of the first people to ever implement this kind of special effects. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something else to conclude. Hmm. Because this is very appropriate right now. Because it's March 2021. Soon to be April, but still. Willis (laughs) O'Brien. Willis O'Brien, the man who did the special effects for King Kong, Mm -hmm. actually started the story of... He's the one who originated the idea... Of King Kong versus Godzilla. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Look at that. See? Now, wait, it's time before we wrap up. Is that done with the Ray Harryhausen effect? Yeah. Good. I have one bombshell special announcement. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. So, as you know, I've been a podcaster for many years now. And um, after much deliberation, I am moving on to other endeavors and projects. (gasps) <gasps> and I will soon no longer be an official co-host of the Two Fold Podcast. Whoa. What a bombshell. Oh, what a bombshell. <gasps> so, oh. a couple more episodes here. I'm going to join Phil's movies, and then one more episode with me. And phew. But I will be an occasional uh, guest, if you decide to continue the Two Fold tradition Oh, oh, what a bombshell to end on. That was so bombshell. The contracts have been signed. What, is the, what, what does mean, this mean Johnny? for the contracts? What, is, what does this mean for, the, for, for everything? What, 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 the pictures and the things? What, what, Ray, Ray, Harry, Harryhausen. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. What? Why are you laughing, Tim? This is the first time I heard of this. Yeah. The bombs have dropped. Homer has... has the silence. <laughs> the Homer has returned. The Homer has returned. We, we, what are we uh, going to do? I don't know. We've got to talk to the producer. Like a big question. Oh, we gotta, we have to talk to the ending. producer. Where's Johnny? This is, this is the, the contract. The contract.
Did I lose you guys? Nope. No, we're here. Oh, no. No. I can hear you, but can you hear me? Jason. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's...